Hi, Paul. I think this is roughly the circuit uh, that you were talking about. Uh, you had uh, probably just one seat of EMF here where I've got two of them. But uh, I, got, I got it that way for a reason. I want to actually start off with a, a slightly different circuit. Uh, I'm going to connect a, a piece of wire from there to there, and then I'll remove that to get uh, to yours. So in this circuit, we've got uh, three conductors con connected together by uh, circuit elements. Uh, this red one, this blue one, and the screen one. And uh, the blue one is three volts higher than the red one because uh, the, the blue one is connected to the positive terminal of the seat of EMF and the red one to the negative terminal. And that's what a seat of EMF does. It maintains a constant potential difference between its terminals. So these two conductors are both uh, at, well, well, this one's at three volts higher than the red one. I'm going to set my reference level for voltages, uh, that of uh, the red one. So I arbitrarily define the red one to be at zero volts. Uh, the blue one's three volts higher than that. So it'll be at a potential difference of three volts and then the green ones at a potential difference of three volts higher than the blue one because uh, it's connected across this battery which maintains a constant potential difference between its terminals of three volts so it moves charge around as necessary to make it so that that potential difference is three volts so uh, I'm going to say the green one in my scheme with the red one being defined to be at zero volts is at six volts so uh, we have a 3 volt potential difference uh, between the terminals of this resistor. That's going to cause some current to flow. I call it I. Causes there to be an electric field inside the resistor, which is uh, moving charges around um, uh, against the retarding force. That's why we get uh, a, a constant uh, charge flow rate. And then over here, this resistor has got the same exact potential difference between its terminals. 0 volt to 3 volts, so 3 volts higher there. So it's got the same current. And this one's got the exact same current uh, under the conditions that we got. So uh, associated with uh, you know the, this voltage, in order to make it so that the uh, blue conductor is 3 volts higher than the red, uh, we need some positive charge or more positive charge on the blue conductor than what the red one has. So uh, this one's got a little bit of positive charge on it and then uh, or, or you can say the, the red one has negative charge relative to the, the blue one but uh, this one's got a little bit of positive charge relative to the red one and this, got, this one has a little bit more uh, positive charge than the blue one does and that's what's creating the electric field inside the resistor. There's a little tiny bit of uh, positive charge up on this side of the resistor, a little bit of negative that uh, creates the electric field in there and uh, it makes it so that we've got that potential difference between them. Same thing here. Uh, there's a little bit more positive charge on the blue conductor than we got on the red. and uh, Making it so that the top of this resistor is at a higher potential than uh, the, the bottom. So uh, for all of them we got this little bit of uh, charge distribution uh, responsible for these electric fields. All right, now I want to uh, suddenly remove this wire not the one connecting the two seats of EMF. So that's just uh, acting like a six volt battery now that that whole thing or six volt seat of EMF. Uh, and uh, but it, I wanted to cut it there and then uh, what happens starting at that instant I, I first break the connection you can see oh, so I break that connection first instant when I break the connection um, I still got more current flowing out of this blue conductor than I got flowing into it so uh, the charge that was responsible for maintaining the potential difference uh, between these two is being depleted from the uh, the blue conductor so this goes down so uh, this will uh, decrease 
um, because charge is being depleted from the blue resistor. It makes it, uh, as this goes down, that's going to decrease uh, the current, de decreases the potential difference between these two, and it'll increase the potential difference between these two. And uh, it's going to go down and down and down. The charge is going to be depleted from this blue one. And by the way, we're talking like, uh, I, I think we're in the, the picocoulomb range, and it decreases during a period of time that is probably in the nanosecond range. So it happens almost instantaneously. Uh, this charge decreases until the current coming in is equal to the current coming out. It's going to go to down to uh, two volts. We'll find out. Uh, you can figure out from Ohm's law that that's how far it's going to go down. That enough charge is depleted from this blue conductor to make it so that the voltage goes down to to two volts, which is going to change uh, this current. Uh, this, this current actually is going to increase a little bit uh, because we got a, a bigger potential difference and this current is going to decrease uh, it'll actually decrease to uh, uh, I1 over 2 these two resistors the current is always uh, the same the charge flow rate through each one is always the same as the other uh, because they've got the same potential difference between their terminals even as that potential difference is changing but this drops down to I'm calling it I1 over I2 uh, half of what we get there so uh, once we get down uh, this voltage drops down to 2 volts because of the charge depletion here we got the same charge flow rate up here as we have down there and uh, I think that, that really answers the question. You know, what makes it so that the electric field in this resistor is weaker than the electric field in this resistor? Well, if I imagine cooking up a situation where they're the same as they were when I had that wire, then once I uh, go to the actual circuit and remove that wire, you can see that the uh, unbalanced flow of charge uh, into and out of this uh, blue conductor is going to make it so that the charge automatically changes in such a manner that it's going to make it so that the charge flow rate is the same at both parts of the circuits. You know, the total charge flow rate through this pair of resistors has got to be the same as the charge flow rate through that single resistor.